What is up guys, Digger Jim here, back with another video. Today's video is a metal detecting video. Yes, I know it's been a while since I posted one, and uh, the weather took a break here. It was like 60 some degrees where I live, and I thought, man, I'm gonna go back and hit those apartments again. Uh, I know you guys think, man, why are you hitting the apartments over and over? I mean, there can only be so much. But that's where you're wrong. That's so much space. And you have, when you're metal detecting places, you can go back numerous times and you're amazed what you walked over the first time. Because it could just be an angle of where you're swinging your coil. It could be how fast you're moving. You might skip right over it. It could be right next to a piece of iron or something that you're like, oh, I'm not going to dig that. Because it, you know, it was masked by the iron signal. Uh, today's hunt is back at the apartments. I went into an area of the apartments that I went really fast over before, and you're going to see something really cool that I find that I'm going to post at the very end. Um, and then I went into another area of the apartments that I also had gone over kind of swiftly, and I wanted to see what I might have missed. So something to remember when you're looking at these videos is, you know, a, a lot of these people that post uh, their videos could have been places they'd gone to several times, but knowing that this hobby and that nothing is ever hunted out. So uh, sit back, watch a few of the clips. I hope you enjoy them. And uh, if you do, hit that like, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Tell me what you liked, what, you know, what was the cool thing that I found. Um, and yeah, keep digging. Later. Hey guys, Digger Jim here. Uh, got a scratchy signal, but it would go to a high tone every once in a while. So let's see what we got. I cut the plug. Just got to fish it out. Look at that. Damn. Look at that imprint over there. Right over there was that imprint. But look at that. Can't get any easier than that. I didn't even have to use the pinpointer. So 19... Hold on. 41... Wheat scent. Nice. Let's see what else we can find. <clears throat> All right, guys. I got an 84, 85. Could be a dime. Could be a wheat penny. I don't know. Let's see. Um, right here at the root, whatever it is. Oh, is that it? Ooh, look at that. It's a Merc. Look at that. Mercury dying. See if we can get a date on it. 44. 44, baby. 44 Mercury dime. These apartments are still giving it up. On to the next. All right, guys, I got an itchy high tone. Um, let's see if we can find it. Huh. Let's check the hell. Hold on. I know it was right in here. Oh, oh it's gone. Oh, look at that. A silver rim. Let's see what kind of silver we got. Ooh. Oh, nice. I think that's like a 50, 57, 1957 Roosevelt dime. Nice. On to the next. Let's see if we can dig this live. You guys, this was ringing up high tone as well. Let's see what comes up. I don't know. Maybe I'm off. Hmm. I hear it, but I don't see anything. 
you guys see anything? Oh, oh, look at that. We're on a roll, guys. <laughs> Another Roosevelt. Another Roosevelt dome. 1959. You guys saw it. It was a live dig. Woohoo! That's awesome. This place is still giving up silver coins. I'm back at the apartments again. I didn't have anywhere to go today, so I thought I'd hit the apartments. Let's see what we can find the next hole. All right, guys. <clears throat> back with another hole this is a scratchy tone i've kind of dug the plug already with the shovel let's flip it out see what we can find um i'm digging a lot of scratchy mid-tones and everything else this was kind of going like high low and oh, it says it's right there somewhere hold on it didn't sound like a coin Ooh. See that, guys? That white right there. That right there is a bullet. I don't know if it's a Civil War bullet, but it's definitely a, a bullet from the 1800s. It's pretty awesome. Get back to you on the next. Hey guys, Digger Jim here. The pouch is empty. Empty. Let's do a wrap up. Uh, today was a short hunt. I got like three regular pennies. This key, I'm guessing it's somebody's car. I did dig some old iron and I got the piece of horse tack. I got a, a bullet, an 1800s bullet that came up with a weird low high tone and I dug it. I don't think, I don't know if it's necessarily Civil War, but uh, I mean, could be. Uh, I got this cool um, bracelet here. It's not precious metal. It's probably aluminum. It's really thin. We'll see if my wife can fix it. More into the wrap up we go and we get five wheat pennies. I flipped this one over because this has got a 1920, maybe 25 date on it, which is older than the rest. The rest are like 44, 45. And then the good stuff, I got uh, three Roosevelt dimes, a 59, a 54, a 53, and one Mercury dime, which is a 44. This, this 59 was literally like two inches under the ground, not even that. I mean, I just barely flipped it out. Um, and then here's the trash. It was a good hunt, um, quick hunt. I'm hoping to maybe go back there again. I feel like that place might have a few more gems. So anyway, that's the wrap up until then, till next time, till then, till next time, keep digging.